It's time for those spooky stories, like uh, about the time I had to cut 20,000 words from an 80,000 word book, you know? Spine tingling. That stuff that keeps writers up at night. I've been approached by people even more stressed out over their book length than their magic systems. Lucky for everybody, the acceptable length ranges for genre fiction are pretty well established and well documented on blogs everywhere. Still, you have people who target 100k, end up with 97, then sweat it because they think that'll make a difference. It won't. It's close enough. Nobody's ever thrown out a manuscript because it was a little shorter than the industry standard. Being too long is much more likely to be a problem. It's definitely a good idea to learn the guidelines so you have something to target, but there's no need to fixate on them. If the book's good enough, an agent or an editor isn't going to care if it's a little shorter or a little longer than what they want it to be. They're still going to go for it. They'll just plan to make you adjust the length later. That's not a great feeling, but it's not the worst problem to have. The final published version of Admiral was 13,000 words longer than the original draft. The final published version of Glory was 20,000 words shorter than the original draft. This doesn't just happen to me. It's not unusual at all. Length plays an important role on the publishing side, but there's no need to stress over it when you're actually writing the book, because it's really hard to know what the ultimate needs of your publisher are going to be. When I was getting told that Admiral was too short, I made a point to make the next one longer. Then I had to cut that book way down so it would be closer in length to Admiral for the sake of consistency. You just have to be ready for that stuff. Margarita's help. There's still Twitter and Facebook and a website and all that if that's what you're into. 